AI video tools can be expensive, so in today's video, we're going to look at tools that get great results but don't cost anything at all. First off, we'll compare Midjourney with free alternatives for getting our images. Then we'll do the same for Runway and find free ways to turn our images into video. Let's get started. We're going to compare our free tools with Midjourney because Midjourney is becoming the standard in text to image. But Midjourney starts at $10, and even then, you can burn through your credits very quickly. Unless you're paying 30 US dollars a month where they give you a feature called Relax Mode, you probably can't generate a ton of images in Midjourney. So, we're going to compare the results of a basic prompt in Midjourney. In this case, it's a 3D animated porcupine who's a samurai. And we'll take that same prompt to the other tools and contrast the results in a fair way. The trick to cheap alternatives for text to image is find tools built on top of stable diffusion. It's an open source AI model, it's great, and companies don't have to spend all this money like Midjourney does building their own model. First off is Leonardo AI. It's a very strong newcomer. It leverages stable diffusion, but it has its own fine tuned models on top of it that are great and it gives it a big competitive advantage. They actually have their own 3D animation style model to be done, which is perfect for the porcupine prompt. It makes my life a lot easier. The results are very true to the prompt. They understand the lighting, the background, the character. There's also other models you can use and a fair amount of parameters you can play with, especially for a free plan. On the free plan, you can generate up to 150 images per day. That's among the best I've seen. I hope it lasts. Biggest downside though is new features will be released slower on the free plan, but that's pretty understandable given that it's free. Next up is Night Cafe. They offer many models in addition to stable diffusion ones. They also have their own fine-tuned presets that make things easier. Unlike Leonardo, Night Cafe actually wasn't giving me very high quality images off the bat. It's kind of misinterpreting prompts I made and I partially chalked that up to me just using default settings and moving fast. It got better once I used the CGI animation preset, but I saw that that was mostly just adding keywords like Pixar and Disney. I think with some time and experimenting with different models, you can get better results than I got. Night Cafe used to be completely free, but now they give you a small stack of free generations, then 5 credits per day from there. That adds up to about 6 high quality images a day, and they've gamified a few ways to get more credits. To be honest, it wouldn't be my first choice, but it's definitely one that you should consider in your mix. And the last one before we compare the images is Playground AI. And first off, Playground should be in your tool belt anyways. They are extremely good for outpainting which is when you take an image and you extend it beyond its original frame and have the AI guess what to add to it. But it's also a freemium image generation tool, and like the other stable diffusion-based tools, there's fine-tuned presets and a healthy amount of adjustable parameters just on the free plan. The results were not my favorite, I'll be honest. Playground seems to push older models of stable diffusion and also mixes in some DALI, which is OpenAI's model that's not quite mid-journey level. But Playground AI offers a whopping 1,000 free image generations per day. After 50, it starts throttling your quality a little bit. But I mean, this is among the most free of free tools out there, especially considering the computing costs they take on for you. So look, I'm preferential to Midjourney because I put in crappy prompts and known it and gotten great results many times now. I don't find it as easy to do that with these tools, but you can get great images with these tools with a little more effort and pay nothing at all. The one that struck me the most is Leonardo AI, and I'm going to be adding it to my workflow because we all go through this phase of testing ideas out and you don't want to burn through all your Midjourney credits during that time. Leonardo has been giving me great results for little effort, and I think it's only going to get better. There are some free tools that didn't make the cut. Lexica is completely free, but I couldn't get the body composition down, so I didn't really want to recommend it given how hard it was to get it going. Blue Willow is not quite free, but definitely quite affordable, and it had a lot of trouble interpreting my prompts, so I threw it out. Now on to animation, starting with text to video. I find that text to video actually isn't quite as impressive anymore since image to video has come out, and we're going to focus more on that in a minute. But Runway Gen 2 is the leader in text to video, and I want to compare it to some other free tools that I found on Hugging Face, but both of them kind of let me down. Runway's just gotten too far ahead to really have a contender at this point. Uh, Pika Labs is a new entrant that I had high hopes for, but when it comes to text to video, it was only a little bit better than the Hugging Face stuff, and I think Runway kind of just steals the show, so there is no good free alternative for text to video in my mind right now. But then came Pika Labs' image to video functionality, which lets you take an image like the ones we'd produced earlier, and add animations to them. And this actually gave Runway a little bit of competition I wasn't expecting. It did a fairly good job of interpreting what the images were about, 
and then chose the right features to animate as well. One thing it did lack though was movement, and if you do a couple generations in runway, you tend to get something with some pretty decent movement. Pika has a parameter that lets you adjust the motion setting, but unfortunately this actually just gave me wacky results more often than not. But still, Pika is completely free while it's in beta, as long as you are cool with the watermark, and you can keep prompting until you get an animation you like, which is kind of required in runway as well, and that gets pretty expensive, so while I don't think it's as good as Runway today, Pika is brand new and I am certain it's going to improve over time. So if you normally use Runway and you're making something like an AI film, what you can do is use Runway for some of the more motion-filled, high-detail stuff, but then use Pika to lower your costs and just bring it in for things like uh, close-ups on faces and stuff where the animation detail isn't quite as important and have a nice mix and match that brings the total cost way down. I hope you enjoyed that. If there's other AI video tools you want to find free alternatives for, write to me in the comments and let me know and I can consider it for the next video. Also, if you're on Twitter or X or Twix or whatever it's called now, I'm only on there. I'm starting to do tweets that are short form tutorials. Come find me. Thanks for watching.